Mr. Chair, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the Baha'i international community appreciates the opportunity to share a few considerations on the evolving nature of social development in the contemporary world. 20 years ago, the World Summit for Social Development put a human face on a discourse focused primarily on economic growth and structural adjustment. That emphasis on humanity continues today as the international community works to lay firm foundation for the next global development agenda. Critical in this regard will be reframing of the role humanity plays in the betterment of society. Structural reform, finance, and technology will be all crucial, but it's people who enforce regulations or ignore them, who translate plans into action or stay on the sidelines. The ability of people individually and as members of communities and institutions to achieve something they collectively value is therefore an indispensable means of meeting the Commission's central objectives of eradicating poverty, promoting full employment, and fostering social integration. The Secretary General's report on the priority theme of this Commission notes that 3.8 billion people, about 53% of the current global population, live on less than $4 per day. Though dollar figure measures of poverty are imperfect, they clearly demonstrate that those with limited material means far outnumber those living in abundance. No longer can it therefore be realistically imagined that a small segment of humanity will on its own be able to bring about the advancement of all the rest. The aggregate talents of several billion individuals represent a phenomenal reservoir of resources for constructive change that has so far gone largely untapped. Efforts to rethink and strengthen social development in the contemporary world therefore need to explore how the contributions of those who have traditionally been treated as largely passive recipients of assistance can be meaningfully integrated into global process of development. Towards this end, the Baha'i international community would like to offer several suggestions for Commission's consideration. Specifically, development goals should address the human resources needed to achieve transformative global progress as robustly as the financial and technological resources needed. Make the building of capacity to contribute to social progress as a central objective in formulating targets at the international level, planning intervention, interventions at the national level, and monitoring progress at all levels. Prioritize universal participation in local development efforts, regardless of demographic categories such as gender, age, race, ethnicity, and religion. And finally, allow sufficient policy and reporting space for capacity building and empowerment efforts to develop organically and respond to local circumstances. In these ways, the talents and abilities of people of the world can be more fully realized as a means of implementing plans for global development. Thank you, Mr. Chair.